Speaking of upside, here's Clyde Edwards Alaire, who's been pretty disappointing. He's been pretty disappointing in his career so far. Like his calling coming out of college was all about being a great pass catcher. He's going to make the Chiefs offense unstoppable, and he's barely been used in that role at all. Who Fancy process. To? Brian Dawkins, right? Little baby Brian Dawkins. Uh, maybe I don't. Wasn't Brian Dawkins like a safety? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I'm. So, I'm. Well, Sean McCoy. I don't know. Shady. Anyway, so Fancy Pros has him at 28. ESPN has him at 27. We have him at 27. He's a. He looks like he's a starting NFL running back. Um, he's like, come on, do something, sort of thing. Um, Daryl Williams is no longer there. Jarek McKinnon is still there. Ronald Jones is still there. Uh, they have a rookie who they've been checking the ball down to a little bit that I know Jason uh, really enjoys. So Cl- Clyde finishes running back 22 his rookie year. He finishes RB 41 last year. And uh, there, there's just not a lot of positives. He doesn't have a whole lot of momentum coming in. And I think that's okay because based on where he's going in drafts, the Chiefs offense is not going to be bad. So he's going to have scoring opportunities. So if he can get healthy, he's just 23. He's going somewhere around six, round seven. So he's missed some games, missed three as a rookie, seven last year. Oof. This is a guy that that some people were taking as a first round pick a couple of years ago as a rookie, Jason, and it, uh, it he is not uh, flashed any of that potential that we thought that was going to be there. No, and it was Brian Westbrook. So uh, it previ- both previous uh, Andy Reid Eagles, uh, Brian Dawkins and Brian Westbrook, but that's what the comp was coming out of college for Clyde Edwards' lair was uh, Brian Westbrook Jr. Um, has not lived up to the hype. Um, at all? No, not close, quite honestly. Hasn't stayed healthy, has not shown any ability to convert tough yardage or goal line remotely. Um, that offense, though, I mean, they kind of got stuck dealing with too high safety looks, and they couldn't get defenses to show them anything else. And they were just being and, flooded. And they couldn't take advantage of it. No, they couldn't run the ball on it. And no. so now, you know, this whole preseason, though, if you've watched the first team offense, their offense is completely different. Like Tyreek Hill is not on their team anymore. They're running I formation. Breaking news. Oh, right. <laughs> breaking news. How's that for newsy stuff? But they're running I formation. Like they are getting fullbacks in the game to lead the way for their running backs now and and to try and create some single high looks that they can then take advantage of in the passing game. So I, I think that the defense, the defenses that they are stuck dealing with are going to be a little bit different. They just need to show their ability to actually capitalize in the running game when they do get those two high safety looks. Um, I'm really just not convinced that Clyde Edwards Alaire has the ability to hold on to his job all season. You know, yeah, I mean, he, wouldn't wouldn't you rather take a flyer on Isaiah Pacheco a little bit later, or t- um, or draft? You could draft him or Jarek McKinnon basically in the last round of your drafts, and yeah. then you still get a piece of the backfield. Clyde Edwards Alaire can't stay healthy, anyways. Last season he missed half the season, and then when he came back in the playoffs, he was out snapped two to one by Jarek McKinnon. Like it was Jarek right. McKinnon's job. So why like the upside is there. There's a crap ton of upside, but he's had two seasons now where he has not shown his ability to capitalize Anything. on it because that upside yeah. has been there the whole time. It's not a new situation. Um, He's just not, he's not that short yardage converter. They're probably going to go elsewhere when they get close. And it's just, it's going to be frustrating, but you don't have to get him where you had to get him before, right? Like he's yep. people's third running back at his current ADP. Right. So, yeah. He's not, he's not even like your flex 
player. <laughs> like he he's he's almost borderline a bench guy that if if he hits you're good otherwise I don't know. He he's frustrating though because you you want to play him, you want him to be better, but between Jones, McKinnon or Pacheco um it's it's hard because I feel like the only way that I end up with him on my roster is if I go like receiver Travis Kelsey in my first two picks and then Yeah, I'm but you still don't want Kelsey hammering. and him on the same team. You're right. Or maybe it's receiver like, Mark Andrews in the first like but you know what I mean though. When I just when it's yeah. like the zero RB ish kind of strategy and I have to load up on running backs that I'm not particularly thrilled about, that's when I get Clyde Edwards Alaire. The safest play in drafts though is to load up on running back early. And where CEH is going, you're hammering receiver. So correct. Also, I would say I would add this too. Is a starting NFL running back where he's yeah. going, you're kind you're kind of looking around, especially how many we, starters are left. Have him tiered. Yeah, well, we have him tiered on the sack of sheet. He is basically like, well, I guess we have to take him here because he's a starting NFL running back. Like that that that's essentially with the tier that he's in with Miles Sanders and and other players like that, where it's just like, well, he's a starter, so we can't have him any lower, but you can't really get him any higher either. Right.